we've incorporated a lot of components in our lab that allow us to replicate everything that's outside. The heat, humidity, the solar radiation that comes from the sun, wind. In the lab, just to be able to see it on a big screen and be able to look over there and know exactly what our environmental conditions are at any given time are critical. We have to have tight controls in that environmental laboratory space. We need to make sure that our humidity and our heat and the WBGT in particular stay within a very tight range. We are tracking the environmental conditions. A lot of times we will have multiple trials that vary those conditions. So we are looking at other factors that relate to body temperature, heart rate, perceived load in terms of how hard they feel they're working. So we play with all of these factors so we can ultimately see how increasing temperatures ultimately affect the body. You know, the data shows that without question, you know, people are safer if they have heat acclimatization in place, environmental monitoring and work to rest ratios and hydration, and people end up being more productive down the road when you implement those strategies. So acutely, you know, in that one hour, you might do a little bit less, but then when you implement these strategies, people are healthier and are better off in the long term. I have a lot of athletic trainers and folks who call me asking how to best implement these processes. To be honest with you, it starts before ever setting foot on the field. You need to make sure that your coaches and everybody understand what it is that you're measuring, why you're measuring it, the guidelines and the recommendations and how they change. And with the sole purpose in mind that you're doing this to keep their athletes on the field and safe. You wouldn't send your kid to the pool without a lifeguard, but you're willing to send your kid to play football or ice hockey or gymnastics without any medical care. I'm a huge fan of actually trying to not ever cancel practices, like to make modifications, because if you don't practice, you lose fitness that day and you lose heat acclimatization that day. So I like the environmental monitoring to be, you know, you need longer rest breaks, you need rest breaks more often. You might need to find a shaded area versus the sun. You might have to practice inside. You might have to practice a different time of the day. Um, but we want people to be creative and not to just cancel practices because once we cancel those other ramifications that are negative as well. If you have a Kestrel device and you are on site, you're going to get the most accurate representation of heat load or heat stress that that athlete is going to be experiencing. We need something that can give us a valid WBGT measurement and that's exactly what Kestrel does. It gives us a portable device that gives us a valid measure for wherever we're doing our research.